Hi guys, I'm Sam from Website Right. Hope you're doing good. On this video, I'm going to talk to you about WordPress and emails. Uh, sometimes there are issues sending emails through WordPress. So what I'm talking about is when you've got WooCommerce, say, obviously people place orders, they need to receive emails, order confirmations, new account emails, that kind of stuff. Using Contact Form 7, maybe you as the webmaster, do people still use that word anymore? Uh, you want to get notifications of when people sent their forms in. Same with Gravity Forms. Now, if you're not, there's obviously an incompatibility issue between WordPress and your server. Now, the default way that WordPress sends emails is using PHP Mail. Um, this isn't great because it's not amazingly deliverable because some servers and some email systems will sort of classify it as spam and you don't really want that so it's best to send via SMTP. When you've got a mailbox on your phone and you press the send button, that email is going out through a dedicated server that will then distribute it to where you need it to go. At the other end, on Gmail or Yahoo Mail or Hotmail, it can account from where it came from, therefore it won't class it as junk. So SMTP mail is the way to send your emails from WordPress. So you need to set up a mailbox on your server and then input the relevant settings within a plugin, which I'm just about to show you, and then do a few tests. If it works, great. Your deliverability will go through the roof. Check this out. So for the purposes of demonstrating this, I'm going to be using a website called Thomas Pardee Removals. Someone's asked for a bit of help on this. So I'm gonna show you what to do using this website. So firstly, there needs to be an email account. Now, whether you've got cPanel or Plesk or Stack CP, most of it's pretty much the same in terms of setting up an email account. You put in your email address, you pop your password in, of course, and once you do so, you'll be given a number of options that look something along the lines of that. So you'll be given an incoming server and an outgoing server. Now, you may find that uh, you might not know your password of an existing email account that's been set up. So you could actually create a dedicated send email for your website like no dash reply at or something like that if you do that's absolutely fine and people will know that you can't reply to it but if you needed to collect emails from it you can do so by adding a forwarder to your main email address however yeah for this one we're just using their existing email account details because we know what the password is and what the details are I do understand that in a number of situations you may not know the password as it's been set up for quite a while but this one's only recently been set up so we can go ahead and now add the settings to a plugin which I'm just about to download so if I go to the plugins menu and go to add new and you need to search for WP space SMTP because that's one of the best plugins that uh, is used for this and there it is easy WP SMTP there it is so if you click the install now button It'll just take up to around 30 seconds to install, depending on your internet speed, but then you can click activate. And then once you do, on the left-hand side, you'll see an extra menu item in your settings bar. There it is. So easy WP SMTP. So if you just click that, and then you'll come to a screen that looks like the following. So these are your SMTP settings. So it's important that the email is exactly the same as what's been set up in your mail account. Uh, the from name as well. So this is uh, basically when it comes through to someone's email, the from name that it says, you won't put the email address here. You just want to put the company name or the, in, the individual's name. You can click this button here to say false from name replacement. So any other plugins that may use other from names, it will override that and put the above in. The reply to email address. So if you're using a no reply, what you can do is actually forward that to another email, but you can also put in a reply to email address here as well. So uh, what we're gonna do is just pop that on like so. And then your SMTP host. So if you go into your email settings and click on the account setup, you'll see that there is the SMTP outgoing server so it may be called the outgoing server or smtp server so i'm just going to grab that there and paste it in like so and you'll also have the option of declaring whether it's being sent securely or whether you're using start t 
TLS, but we're going to use SSL and the default port number for that is port 465. But you can see all those details here in your email settings. The SMTP authentication should say yes. And what we're going to do is pop in the email address, which will be our username and then the password for your email account. So I've done that and then I'm going to click save changes. OK, so that has all been done now. The settings have been saved. Uh, there are some additional settings should you wish to as well. Uh, it's completely up to you whether you use these. But now all I'm going to do is send a test email. So let's send a test email to me website. Right. Hello. This is a test. Let's see if this works. Click send test email. And there we go, email test uh, successful by the looks of it. So if I go into my email now, and there we go, we've had an email and it all works brilliantly. So that is the easy WP SMTP plugin on WordPress completely helps your email deliverability. If you found this really helpful, I'd be absolutely delighted if you hit that subscribe button because it really gives me the, I don't know, the oomph to do more videos. And of course, hit the thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you do subscribe, hit the bell as well because then you'll be notified about my new videos to this channel. See you soon.